Welcome to Let's Make a Space. Let's meet the gang. Here's Get It Done Dave Elliott, MacGyver Mikey Ocado, Little Dave Da Silva, Jessica the Boss Robertson, and here's me, Andy, the lead designer. For Central Oregon's room makeover specialists, watch us transform your neighbor's living spaces every week. Hey, we're at the Boswells today. Um, Keith, Wendy's husband, surprised her for her birthday to change her creative area upstairs into the studio suite. So we're going to go on and take a peek at it, see what we're going to do. I know they're home. Hello. Hey, Wendy. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Good. We've come to take a peek at the room. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is it. This is it. The big bonus room. This is a big bonus room. So this is where it all happens. Yes. This is where you create. Yes. Create everything. Design, I paint, I sew, I change diapers. You change diapers? Yeah. And we have been having trouble trying to figure out what to do with it. Because there's so many things I want to do with it, or be doing in it. <laughs> Ultimately, the goal here is to encompass three things. Your graphic design area. Yes. Your art area. Mm -hmm. And then sewing. Sewing. And I think the thing he said most is that she's going to need a very large surface area. Yeah. She's something. She's going to want an idea wall. Um, yep. Said, we love to save things. We want to yeah. pin things up. So inspiration stuff. So. Yeah. yeah. And then we need a desk for your computer because she's still doing some design. Yep. So we were thinking about a large work surface table area here. So in order to be able to put this here, we have to find a place for this. So our suggestion is, as we look at the closet, right now, I think if I open it up, I'm sure there's going to be a ton of stuff in here. Yep. <laughs> all these things need to be condensed down because we're going to take the doors off, cube it all out, create compartments, and we're going to be able to bring all of this that into here too. That is awesome. Yeah. It's a great time for you to purge. Yes, oh. I need to purge, purge, purge. Okay. So that's here on this side, your idea wall along here at the back. Yeah, computer here. And then we're going to move over. And then this over. is kind of play area. Play area, Lucy. This is where we, I let her spread out now and watch TV watch or TV whatever. Yeah. Yep. OK, so and I think over here, we need to come over here and talk about what we were thinking in regards to your canvases. Because it'd be nice to actually have a stock of it here and paper, large format paper and things like that. Yep. So we're going to build something out about probably about this far that you'll slide canvases in and out. So you better keep blank canvases mm -hmm. ready at hand. And paper, yeah, watercolor paper. Yep. That. And then shelves all the way down here, but all of those things will be nicely faced out so that you can see them at a glance. Just be able to pull them off and put them back as you're creating right here. This is going to be awesome. And your easels, including the one your dad made you, yeah. will go here. I have two easels, one from Keith and one my dad made me for a wedding. So, so you'll create here, and again, you'll still be able to look around. So you'll create awesome. here. I love that. And again, you'll still be able to look around. So I think that's pretty much the room in a nutshell. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> Except for the floor, I think we're doing checkerboard, black, black and white, and white. floor. Black and white, yep, always wanted that. So this is going to be the dream studio. <laughs> it is. All right. So I think we've got everything we need. We know what we're doing. So yes. let's just get started. All right. All right. Welcome back. Hands up if you have one or more of these in your home. I see those hands. Affectionately known as boob lights, this is the standard light fixture in almost every home in America. And what a terrible shame that is. They're awful. With the media room, painting wall, and sewing table, we needed a ton of directional lighting that could be easily adjusted. These Kovacs track systems delivered the right amount of light and had enough fixtures to accent all of the areas of the room we needed to highlight. Well, this was a first for us, and boy, this was one of those projects that I had no idea how much work it would be. The goal was to have a hand-hammered, galvanized wall, which is a lot harder than it sounds. My arm was in a sling for about a month after this. The easy part was installing the sheets and the overlapping pattern to cover the wall. Then I had to screw about 1,500 rubber washered metal screws to hold the panels on the wall. Partitioning the wall with hammered lines, as you see here, I then proceeded to hit the wall about 100,000 times to create the awesome effect that you see here. And this was just one of the walls in the entire room. 
here you see Amy, and to add to the craziness of all that was going on, she's doing some amazing graphic painting on the walls. Gotta love those blue circles. So here we are with a blank canvas. We pulled the carpet and sealed the OSB flooring to get a good bond with the tile. Although laying VCT tile is an easy application once you get started, a lot of thought and planning is needed for a good result, especially with a checkerboard pattern. The adjustable roller you see here is crucial to ensure that you are getting a good seal. The temperature is also vital as these will shrink and expand. Keeping the temperature above 65 degrees is recommended. You can see me starting here with four squares dead center in the room. And it's a good idea to keep checking how square you are laying them out often as you will have a much harder time keeping it tight the further out from the center you go. It's going to look beautiful when it's finished. Whilst I was working on the walls, floors, lighting and trim, Sheldon was busy working on the custom pieces needed to complete the room. The art center was built around Wendy's inventory of acrylics, brushes and canvases in a very unique way that took up little space. The other cabinets you see coming together are the metal topped rolling project table as well as the desk for Wendy's Mac where she does all of our graphic design. The old closet will be divided into cubes to house the many fabrics that she uses to create clothes for her daughter and herself. Wendy's due back from Michigan tomorrow, so we have to finalize the layout and bring it all back in. So catch up with us after the break to see Wendy's face as we reveal her dream studio. So, back from Michigan. Yes. Is it the second day back? Second day back. So you haven't really been in the room, have you? No, I'm ready. My husband You're cleaned ready. it up. And you did last yep. night? Well, here's the present. Hmm. So in you go. <laughs> Whoa, Lucy, look at this. I mean, it's exactly what I was looking for. I, I was telling Keith, I just can't believe like how it all came. Like, I had these crazy ideas. I'm like, I had like polka dot stripes, metal. <laughs> <Arm>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it works. I mean, it's just amazing. All right, so over here, the former closet. Yeah. The former closet that was, you did a fantastic job purging, by the way. Yeah, I did, didn't I? You did do a very good purge. <laughs> if you remember, That's there were just like amazing. magazines stacked all over this wall, all the way to the floor. Perfect. I mean, everything was just so well thought out, and you guys really listened to everything that I wanted, and it's like just amazing that it looks like this. I think this, I'm really happy with how this worked out, going from the, the tubs that you had, yeah. well, they were in tins and you couldn't see anything, and you're obviously very happy about <laughs> it too. Yeah. We're going to learn how to paint. They made adjustable shelves for me for different sizes canvas. It's just so cool. Yeah, all just... this moves and comes out and we put a bunch of different sizes because obviously this is great for the big paper mm -hmm. and the large canvases, but rather than lock this down, just certain size, we decided to make it, if one day she was working on six or seven projects that were yep. certain size, she could move the shelves around and destroy it all here, so. It looks so cool, and I love the stuff to hang my art. I can hang the all wire. different weights of art because it's so heavy, I can adjust it. If I want to pop a couple of them out, have a really long yep. thing, or just, I mean, depending on how busy I get, I can hang my sewing up, mm -hmm. which keeps put up my, Bumper pad <laughs> design for Lucy. Well, you'll probably remember before you left the fact that the house is like 100 degrees. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because we had to climatize that the, uh, the vinyl tile, which is, you'll see on the floor, these large squares. But I think you were right that if we'd have gone just the single size It would have been too busy. Too yeah. busy. And so it's it does the same thing, but it's just bigger and calmer. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then the, we've got plenty going on in here without Yeah, and that's what I was worried that it would just be like floor. too much. And I just love it. It's a cool balance of like masculine and feminine with the dots and the stripes because yeah. it says Keith's room too. <laughs> so Keith is allowed yes. in this room. I just we were so. just like, okay, we'll just have you guys do our whole house. And in <laughs> fact, we were we are. very excited. <laughs> we're actually coming back two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. We love I had it. To, um, I had to wear an arm brace after bashing that wall for about a week. It looks so cool. All hand dimple, just so you know. That wall is hand handled thousands of times. Okay, I'll come crawling down and climbing 
falling down on you, right? Okay, it's not all baby fruit. <laughs> That's why we keep a good eye on you. <laughs> Look at the beach. <laughs> 